All right, what is up? This is Slow Playthroughs. I'm here today for a quick little news video concerning The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. So I know I normally don't cover these types of videos, but I thought this was a special kind of video and really important because, you know, I'm real passionate about this kind of stuff and I feel that I need to share this information with you guys if you haven't already seen it. So if you guys have already seen it, uh, yesterday there's been a lot of information, speculation, you know, just so much stuff that has been released from the Famitsu articles. Uh, I think in Japan, um, stating that there's going to be a reduction in the Tears of Light. Um, previously in the original game, there were actually 16. Now there are 12. So that reduction definitely makes the game a little bit easier and not as complicated. So, you know, people might think that it's going to make it too easy. People might think that it's making it too hard still. It, it's all dependent on whoever plays this and they're kind of targeting everybody. They're trying to widen their audi audience and since this is a remake, they want to get as many you know, people participating in this game and purchasing this game. So it would make sense to reduce it. They've done it with Majora's Mask uh, 3D, and I think they've done stuff with it in Ocarina of Time 3D as well. So it only makes sense that they do it for the HD version of Twilight Princess. Even Wind Waker, they've changed a few things. So that is a pretty significant change, because going through the Twilight Realm is definitely a challenge, and collecting all those tiers can be tedious. But I feel that it's a pretty good idea and a good idea on their part. So there's also some more information that was released yesterday concerning this with a new wallet. I think it's an upgraded wallet. Uh, the screenshot showed a rupee count of 2,000, which leads to a possibility of an upgraded giant wallet. So we might be seeing some kind of upgrade that you get later in the game or some kind of new side quest that's going to be put into it. But that's some crazy stuff already. And those were the two things that was, you know, released yesterday in the article that we saw. Uh, I think they're pretty accurate. I'm pretty sure they're true. I don't think there's any false information uh, being guided from the Famitsu articles because it's all been translated. And uh, I believe, you know, it makes sense because we have proof, actual picture evidence. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the biggest news that actually released this morning and it is some crazy stuff which i'm really excited about and i'm hoping it's true i don't think anything has been officially confirmed yet but it's on uh this eurogamer.net article uh it was a new detail spotted on amazon france if you can believe it by both the nintendo insider and neo gaf but has since been removed which is really crazy because why would they remove it if they put it on there could it be true could it not be true but basically what this information concerns is that it's the uh, Wolf Link Amiibo. So as you guys know, this game comes with a Wolf Link Amiibo for free. So you pay the $60 and you actually get the damn thing for free, which is awesome. And I'm glad that they're doing that. But what is the purpose of it? Nobody knows yet. We feel that it could be linked to the Legend of Zelda Hyrule Warriors Legends or even a new Zelda game that's coming out, you know, potentially Zelda Wii U. Uh, this year and of course we're thinking it has to do something with Twilight Princess HD that only makes sense But what would it do? So what they're saying is that it in the article it says uh, unlock bonuses with the Legend of Zelda Amiibos as the page describes tap all the Amiibos for the Legend of Zelda series to unlock bonuses in the game such as regenerating your life or getting arrows for your bow the new Wolf Link Amiibo even allows you to get into a new dungeon the Twilight Cave so that leads us to believe that there's going to be a new dungeon in the game. So that would be crazy. I think that'd be awesome. Um, there are actually nine dungeons in this game. I don't know what the Twilight Cave would entail. Would it be similar to the Pit of Trials or whatever it was called in the original game where you go through, I think, 50 or 100 rooms? Uh, it could be linked to that or it could be completely different after, you know, just post game where you go through it and it's a very challenging dungeon that has some secrets, maybe even potentially linked or you know, influenced by this new Zelda game that could potentially be releasing at the end of this year. So, uh, there's also another new thing as the hero mode, as you guys all know from the previous Zelda games such as Ocarina of Time 3D. I don't know about uh, Majora's Mask 3D. I don't think there was a hero mode or even a new challenging mode like Ocarina of Time 3D had the Master Quest and then we also had uh, Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. And I believe even the original game, uh, we had a hero mode. So this game is finally getting its new hero mode, uh, which can be played off and there's no need to unlock it. So that is actually really cool. And uh, it seems that there, on the Wii touchscreen, the Wii U touchscreen, you'll be able to see the inventory. So the game's inventory has moved down there too. So a lot of new things, a lot of new speculation. Uh, with the Amiibo, Wolf Link Amiibo, none of it's officially confirmed, but 
it would lead us to believe that it is because, you know, there's been a lot of rumors going on and so far they've been true. So uh, that's pretty cool. This game is going to be releasing on March 4th in Europe and in America. So hopefully by that time, uh, or, or, or even earlier, we'll be able to get new information on this game. I'm really excited. If you guys want to see more videos like this concerning new releases, please leave a like down below. I'll be sure to cover as much information as I can because this is an extremely important thing to the channel and to me. I love this game to death, so I'm really hoping that we get some more information on it and some new features. It's going to be awesome. So thank you all so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Take care.